All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another video. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. All right, guys, it's time to do a comparison of two USA made OTFs. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I got my handy dandy Charlie Brown notebook here with all the stats and figures. This one comes by way of my buddy Andrew. This one comes by way of K Kershaw. This is the brand new one that just dropped. Um, both of these are available now. This guy is uh, the Kershaw Livewire, and it is in CPM Magnacut and aluminum. Uh, and this is a just came out literally. Uh, well, I mean the live wires have been out. There's tons of different ones. There's blue. There's green. There's, you know. But this is the first fully blacked out one, if that makes any sense. And then this guys is kind of the staple of the OTF uh, world. This is the um, the Microtech Ultratech in Tanto two tone blade, two tone Tanto uh, in blue and black hardware. Uh, and, you know, you kind of have kind of a really cool vibe to this one, kind of tactical-ish as well. Now, we're going to talk about action. We're going to talk about some other stuff. We're going to talk about rattle, which I always like to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about all the specs. So let's start there. Again, um, don't expect like some super technical over-the-top comparison where I like battle them out in this corner, this has this and that has that, and this one doesn't. But I'm just gonna give you stats and uh, kind of my thoughts at the end. So uh, the Ultratech has been around for quite some time. The live wire's only a you know a little less than a year being on the market. Um, but both of these are made in the US. Uh, I will start by saying that this Microtech Ultratech, I found this guy uh, at DLT Trading uh, excuse me, at Blade HQ, and it is $325. Now, this guy uh, is available, and I found it at DLT, but it's just starting to drop at all the dealers. And this one is $250, $249. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Uh, Kershaw's got a little advantage there, but they are both available. Now, size-wise, these are going to be, let's just get the stands off of here, slightly different, but not a whole lot. So let's go through that real quick. The uh, Microtech Ultratech is a little bit smaller. Uh, now, the the um, goofy uh, window breaker, glass breaker, doesn't, doesn't help that, but uh, 8.5 inches on uh, the Microtech, 8.1 inches overall on the Kershaw. 3.44 inches on uh, the Microtech blade, which is a little bit longer. 3.3 um, inches on the Kershaw. 4.6 on the handle of the uh, Microtech. 4.8, uh, so that's interesting. A little bit longer on the handle for the Kershaw. So the handle's a little bit longer, uh, but the blade's a tiny bit, tiny bit shorter. Uh, as you heard there. Now, both of these are four finger knives, so no qualms on that. They are both full four finger grips, and they both have plenty of blade, and they are both cutters. You saw in my, well, yeah, yeah, I think you've seen it by now, my review of this guy. This thing is stupid, ridiculously sharp, very pointy, uh, very tactical in that way. Now, this one uh, also cuts very well. It is very sharp. By the way, magnet cut here, M390 here. Um, very, and it also has kind of a very tactical point to it in a Tanto. So uh, either one to me could be a very tactical knife. And you can find this in an operator version, a blacked out version as well. All right. So um, the handle thickness, 0.47 on the Microtech, 0.49 on the Kershaw. Just very minimal difference. 0.13 blade thickness on the Microtech, 0.125 on the Kershaw. Again, minimal differences. 3.6 ounces on the Microtech, 3.1 on the Kershaw. Again, all of the differences are very, very slight. Either one of these uh, would work very well. Now, uh, this guy is flat scales with chamfers on the edges and feels very nice in the hand. I will say this part of the clip does poke up and sort of annoy me. Um, now you've got this guy. This guy actually has contoured scales. 
Um, your clip on this one screws down here to the bottom. And, uh, well, you know what? Let's see. If you flip it, it would be, yeah. So I don't know if it's reversible, but I cannot remember. Hold on. Let me look in the box and see if it came uh, with a reversible clip. Where did I put the box? That's the next question. That is the question. All right, well, I don't know where, oh, there's the box. Okay, hold on. I got the box. Um, I have a little secret stash over here. I do not see an extra clip. So it doesn't come with an extra clip. So I don't believe it's reversible. Um, on that one just simply because uh you know of the way it's constructed there the clip being um bent like that to one side okay there sorry i was making a mess so uh very cool looking knives and they both feel really nice now the kershaw does angle up on the clip but it's so short it does not bother me now let's talk about uh, the slide. Okay. So you can tell if you look at these, the Microtech is way more aggressive. This guy does not irritate my thumb whatsoever. I mean, it is very, very, uh, contoured and textured where it grabs my thumb, but it is definitely not irritating in any way that I grab it. Now you can see travel wise, you still have a very long travel uh, but I would say the action on this one is a little uh, easier for me, okay? Now, this guy uh, has heavy texturing on the button, very heavy, and it does tend to irritate my thumb, especially if I go up near the top uh, quite a bit. Uh, your results will vary, I am sure. Now, it is a little tougher uh, to do, uh, and I don't know, guys. You guys tell me what you think about uh, actual uh, rapidness of deployment. I didn't get them synced there. I mean, I think they're about the same uh, in that regard. Um, I would say the Microtech might hit just slightly harder. Like it feels like the spring is a little stronger, which would explain why the button is also a little stronger. Now this guy has a glass breaker. The Kershaw does not and in my case that's a bonus for the kershaw i don't need a glass breaker uh on that knife um but this guy they both feel good and again i'm not the gas station guy but you can definitely uh either one of these is comfortable in a in a reverse grip uh as you can see very much and no if you're gonna tell me you're mr uh, Ninja, and I didn't hold it right, I know, okay? I get it. I am not a tactical guy. I'm not trained in using a knife uh, for self-protection, so save your comment. Um, it's all good. Um, so, but, um, you know, as far as fidgetiness for fun, uh, you know, if you just want to sit and fidget with the Kershaw's better. I'm sorry, it is. Uh, it just is uh, because it's smoother. I will also give... Um, again, let's just, I've done cutting with both of these because I've already done the review um, on both of these. I did on the, uh, I've done the unboxing on this one and I did the review on the uh, silver bladed one, the satin bladed one. Uh, I'm just going to say right up front that Kershaw is the better cutter. Uh, they're both very good. You're not going to get slighted with uh, this guy. It cuts very, very well. I was practicing, to, uh, you know, testing with it. I will say this one has a more reinforced tip. This one has a very thin, uh, probably less durable tip. Uh, so again, that should factor in as well for what you're planning to use it for. You can see we're thicker stock. We're about the same size stock, but the Kershaw gets way thinner way 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 thinner uh and it is that's an interesting uh difference so yeah i guess i need to wrap wrap this up so uh you know i you would not go wrong getting either one of these is my answer uh to the question but i know you guys are going to want a verdict um and i'm not going to base this on price alone although the kershaw's 75 dollars cheaper um I will say the contoured scales, the lack of a glass breaker, the, the less uh, aggressive uh, thumb slide, 
Um, I got to give it to the Kershaw. It's not by much. These are both fantastic, but if I was going to buy one, I would buy the Kershaw. Um, but you can't go wrong with the Microtech. They've been around for a long time. They've, they've, they've done these for a long time. Uh, you, you, you can't go wrong with either one, in my opinion. So what is your opinion? Do you have either? Do you have both? Which one do you prefer? Um, and let me know down below. I do think ergonomically, uh, the Kershaw is just a little bit better with the contouring and the, and the kind of, uh, you know, texturing and everything. It's just, and it, you know, by the way, looks wise, I think this one, again, I would automatically say this one looks better because it's blue. Uh, but if you just look at it, you know, just the knife, the shape, I think the Kershaw has a better look as well. But I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. And and again, there's going to be 100 people to disagree with me and maybe 100 to agree with me, but we'll see. So guys, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Thanks for putting up with this video. A lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Andrew, for sending this one out for me to check out. And guys, uh, thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.